Greetings, everyone. This is Adam Jacobs, CEO and Managing Director of Bubblegum Casting. So I've been answering lots of these questions. I actually really, really love doing this. Um, today, I've got a question that we've been asked, and it's kind of multifaceted. So we got a question, we get a question a lot, actually, around, do you need to have experience in order to sign with an agency? And the other question that sort of comes along with this is, do you need an agent in order to get the experience? So I'll answer them both together. Now, firstly, you know, I'll speak for both Bubblegum Casting, which is our kids agency, and Hunter Talent, which is our adult grown-up agency. So firstly, you don't need to have experience to get an agent, but it definitely helps. And in terms of what you're looking for, that is obviously going to be the determination as to, you know, whether the agent is going to place you forward for those things as well. So at Bubblegum Casting, you know, that's a kids agency. They're not expecting kids to be, you know, super, super experienced in terms of a lot of the jobs that they're asking for. That, you know, the casting directors of Russian companies understand that some of these kids don't have, you know, they don't have had the chance for experience at this point. And then there's also sort of tiers within the agency for talent specifically. So a feature film or a television show or things of that nature, we are obviously going to put kids up who can handle that level of work. You know, if you're looking for that, well, then there's, there's this sort of have done experience, be doing a lot of things, you know, like acting and, and drama classes. Um, and, you know, potentially taking advantage of the things that we offer as an agency. So we offer challenges and um, training and development opportunities for our talent that is totally included with representation for BC. And that basically is, is part of, you know, you need to have be, be doing those things and be job ready. And that's why we do that for our talent at Bubblegum Casting. But if you're looking for, say, starting out in television commercials and things like that, well, obviously you don't need a lot of experience from lion's share of television commercials. Sometimes you might, but for the most part, I would say that you don't need as much experience as you do, say, for television and film. Now, for Hunter, it's a little bit different. You obviously need to have some experience in order to, you know, to be presented for a certain level of opportunity. Again, if you're looking primarily to begin and you're starting out, well, obviously, television commercials and smaller parts will, will probably be open to you and the agency will look at that. But if you come to, to us and you're saying, oh, well, I want Marvel and Disney and I want television and things like that, and you haven't done anything, we're, we're not going to take you seriously and we're not going to put you forward for that type of opportunity anyway. So, you know, you need to be doing a bunch of things for us to sort of see that you are actually able to be presented for those type of, sort of opportunities. Now, we won't necessarily say no to signing you if we think that you've got real potential, you've got a great look, you've got a great attitude, and you're doing some stuff in terms of training or other things so that we can start to sort of present you for opportunities. But if you come to us and you're not doing any of that stuff, when you know you don't have realistic expectations because you're obviously not doing the work that actually is involved to get that type of opportunity. Now, in terms of getting more experience outside of having an agent, so whether it's you do this stuff to go out so that you can showcase that to an agent to sort of get representation, or you know, or just getting more experience so you can put that on your resume so that you can, we can show casting directors and things and production companies that you've done stuff. There's a bunch of places that I would look. So firstly, I'd highly recommend checking out a platform like Star Now for smaller bit parts that are being advertised on there that are too small for a talent agent to actually potentially package and, and put up for. Further to that, I would also say that there are Facebook groups and you can get a lot of sort of experience kind of on indie indie sets and things like that uh, off those Facebook groups and casting um, via that platform, via that avenue. And student films is an often overlooked place to go for experience that you could get in terms of um, very sort of student films. Some people are a little bit reluctant to do types of opportunities like that. And yet there's amazing films that have actually been produced by students that have gone on to win awards and, and get a lot of accolades and things like that. And so, you know, you're getting experience, you're, you're putting things on your resume, you're building your reel, building your resume. And that's all playing into our ability to showcase you for, for higher level type work. So that's one thing. It's really up to, you know, you don't need to, to have that stuff to get an agent. But obviously the agency and my specifically, I'm not going to put you up for tier one uh, opportunities if you've got no experience at all. Like it's just because you're not going to be auditioned. Now, television commercials, is, again, is different. I would say that, you know, for the most part, we can probably put you up for it for a bunch of things that you don't have to have a lot of experience on. Now, we audition talent specifically to sign to the firm for the acting book. So we know that at least you've done monologues and you've got an ability 
to carry dialogue and things like that. Like we actually audition our talent to the, before we'll, we'll sign you to, to the firm specifically. And then we do that because we want to know that we actually can present you for certain, certain opportunities. And the, the, the Hunter team won't say yes to you if you don't, uh, you know, for acting or else if you can't carry dialogue. So that's the first thing to sort of factor in. Like you absolutely don't need a lot of experience um, to get an agent specific for BC specifically, you don't like, I would say that cause we've got a lot of opportunities in there for Hunter. There is a higher expectation that you do, but in general terms, you know, you should be doing it regardless whether you're, you know, you're a parent of a child and they want to do this. Well, they should be doing acting classes and, and definitely taking part in any kind of workshops and things like that. that the agency offers and most do, most least all the reputable ones do. In terms of for Hunter, absolutely, you should be doing this both outside and inside uh, the firm. So, you know, the agency is going to put you up for like stuff that's at your level, and then basically you're going to grow your experience in there. And also, it's up to you to go out and, and expand that stuff. Like, your agent's not going to package you up for a student film because they don't get paid for that. I can't pay my team in fairy floss and glitter and goodwill and intention. It's like we have to make sure that the job is enough that we'll make a commission to pay pay the team to do it so obviously they're not going to put you up for, for indie projects and things like that if there's no if there's no budget but that being said um there's definitely opportunities that you can do and your agent will be able to tell you about those opportunities as well and i highly recommend that you know if you uh, have this question whether it's at my firms or another firm that you do ask these questions about how you can get more experience because there's plenty of opportunities out there for this unpaid work and this lower tiered work and it'll help you significantly in terms of improving your opportunities. So I highly recommend that you do that. Now, thank you so much for letting me like uh, listening to me today. Hope you went, enjoyed the answer to this question. We'll be doing a lot more of these, as I've mentioned, and uh, we're really excited about them. And I hope this uh, you found this enjoyable and interesting. Thanks very much. Bye.